Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary, Amber here, and today we are continuing looking um, at Jesus and our Advent series of how all scripture points to Jesus. And today we're in Jeremiah 23, and starting in verse 5, it says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he'll, he shall be called. The Lord is our righteousness. See, this was written in the, the last days of uh, Jerusalem being um, sieged by Babylon and and Jeremiah was there to bring hope in the midst of this chaos and disaster and this was written 600 years before Jesus would come and see Israel at that time was reaping the consequences of them disobeying God. God had given them the law and they chose to rebel against it and they wouldn't keep it and so they were suffering the consequences but God gave them hope and God gave them a promise that a king would come and he would reign with perfect justice and righteousness. And that king is Jesus. And that is why Jesus came, to be the king of kings and lord of lords. And, and what I really want to focus on and have us look at today is that last verse where he says, and this is the name by which he shall be called. The Lord is our righteousness. This is why Jesus came and was born to save us from our sins and to be our righteousness because we're just like the people of Israel of we could not keep all of God's laws and, and earn our way into salvation by being perfect because all of us are sinners and have rebelled against God and that is why we so desperately need Jesus is because he came to earth was born of a virgin and lived the perfect and sinless life to go to the cross to take all of our consequences of our sin and he took that on himself when he was on the cross and he defeated all of our sin and death and he was buried and rose three days later and he is victorious and when we choose to have a relationship with Jesus he takes our sin away and he gives us his righteousness there is nothing that we can do to earn salvation we just believe and accept Jesus's gift that he earned for us on the cross we cannot be good enough. We can't do enough good things. All we have to do is trust and believe in Jesus and rest in his victory and what he's done for us. And that's what Christmas is about, is the fact that Jesus is our righteousness and that we get to have a relationship with him and live in his righteousness and enjoy his salvation for now and all eternity. And so I pray that you would remember this today and moving forward, that you cannot be perfect, be, and only Jesus is perfect. And he earned that salvation and righteousness and perfection for you on the cross. And he's gifted that to you. And all you need to do is accept it and live in his grace and freedom. Have a great day.